the channel simple creations by Sia and again I am back as I said that sure I'll be making a video on how I made these so in my previous videos if you have seen uh oh if you have seen I showed you how I made these uh, cute embellishments that's a shirt a dress and then I also showed shared with you some inspirations so um, I have made a lot of embellishments if you want to see them check the description box below this is just one of them so I just thought maybe I'll come and share a tutorial on this so what you have here is a cute lady dress and a gentleman's dress um, just using punches nothing fancy so what I have done is I have used some circle punches uh, for the necklace or collar whatever you can imagine of it so I have used circle punches for this and then I have used a heart punch this one and a half inch heart punch for the heart so uh, basically what I've done is I've already selected the scraps which I'm going to use for this project so you can use whatever you have in your stash all it needs to be just kind of around uh, one and a half inch broad so let's get started let me move this aside and this is just a little cute bonus which I did with the punch just playing around so let's start with this one so what I like to do is I just kind of flip my punch because I exactly want to see where I'm punching it I don't want to waste a lot of paper as I keep the tiniest bits of my paper I save them for punching some little flowers or leaves so here's now it's clearly seen where I'm punching I'm just trying to uh, take this pink rose uh, I think I like it there so I'm just trying to fix it where I want it and then what I'm going to do is just punch so there's one and for the shirt I have not I don't have anything specific here so I'm just selecting from the paper pad maybe I'll be using this black one only because that suits it very much so let's punch a out of here maybe from the corner I like to save as much uh, paper as I can so that's just me so there's another one and then you also need half punch half punch what I mean to say is like uh, as you can see here inside that um, white stripe black and white striped paper which just looks great with this black one so what I'm gonna do for that you don't need a whole punch out of it if you have a uh, small bits of paper like this one still you can do it what you need to do is just put it there and even though if it is less than a half and I hope you can see what I'm doing all you need is just to fill that center so that's that okay so we are done with the punching and what I did is along with this I just added a flag banner there I think it just makes it complete so for this what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eyeball around maybe half of an inch it completely depends on you how broad or how narrow you want your uh, fishtail banner so that's that and what I will do is I'll just keep this aside and let's work on the embellishment first so for this what I have done is I'll just take this black one and I'll go and make a cut till half of it just half of it uh, just try to line this end of your scissor with the tip of the heart there I hope you what you can see what I'm saying exactly so I'm just gonna make a snip over there and then this paper is quite a hard paper it's not like regular cardstock 160 GSM it is around 250 GSM I think so then I'm going to gently flip this corner here actually my skin is very dry so whenever I use glue or ink uh, my hands just get untidy and then it keeps on see how you can see so just excuse my fingers uh, then what I'll do is I'll do the same here I'll just try to flip the corners to the sides 
Okay. So that's it. Let me clean this. I think I'm making a mess of the glue. Okay, so that's that. Now what we'll do is don't do like me. Just use your glue very, very carefully so that you don't uh, mess your fingers with it. So that's how I'm going to stick it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll just flip this heart, add a little bit of glue there. It's winter season here in India right now, so my skin is very dry, it gets chapped very easily and then it's a struggle to keep it clean because every now and then when you use glue, ink, whatever, it leaves a residue in those. Okay, so I think I just missed it by a very little piece over there. So I'll kind of push it there. I think I still like it, okay? So that's it. Nobody sees it. So that's that one. And for the lady, what I'm gonna do is I'll just take this and I'll just grab a piece of foil cardstock, glitter cardstock, whatever you have. As you can see the condition of my sheet. That's how I use my paper. I try to use every little bit of my paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just punch Okay, I'm sorry, I just need a second. Okay, so I forgot to grab my one and a quarter inch punch, circle punch here, which we're gonna need for the necklace or collar. So what I'm going to do is I'll just punch a little bit of that there. I hope you can see it clearly. I'm just making sure that it, there's some left around it. Yeah, that's it. So that's what you'll need. And then I'm going with uh, one and a half inch of the circle punch. Okay, uh, please excuse me if him sometimes I'm like out of the frame. And I hope you can see it clearly what I'm doing here. I'm just going to take a little border like strip over there uh, and punch it. So what it gives is something which looks more like a collar to a pretty dress so that's it and now we'll just stick it here let's add a little bit glue be careful with the glue okay just a little bit you need there then what I'm going to do is I'll just take this heart and eyeball where I want it I think that's looking great so I'll just fix it there and I just like to keep it even like uh, if I'm leaving uh, uh, four scallops from this side, I'll just count four scallops from that side. So that's it. And then I'll just flip and snip up the extra. Nice and easy. Okay. So that's the lady dress. And to finish it off, what I'm going to do is I'll just, I think that's a mark on the paper itself. Okay, so for finishing it off, I have these um, cute sequins. No, I don't think so. It's called sequins. I don't know what it's actually called. It just looks like brad heads, but it is not actually brad head. What it is, is it's uh, flat back kind of dots. I don't know what we should call it. So I'm going to use two of these for the shirt. These are very, very tiny. If you don't have these, you can use anything which you can imagine to be working as buttons on your um, embellishment that you can use. So let's just add two little dots of glue here. Be very careful. Very, very small dots I'm adding there. And then we'll very gently pick up our embellishment and place it there. Not like this. Actually, it's a bit concave from the inside, so I need to put a little bit more glue to keep it nice and sturdy. Okay, so let me give you a look. Wow, we love it. So that's the gentleman's dress ready. And now we're going to work on the lady's... Oopsie daisy. Now we're going to work on the lady's dress. It sure needs some pearls to be dazzled up. 
So what I'm going to do is I'll keep this aside, come up with my beads box here and then what I use is this one. This is the smallest bead which I have got so I'm just going to use it there. It's a flat bead so it's quite easy to stick there. So I'm just going to eyeball from the tip of this and then add two little glue dots over there and place this right on top of it. If you, if you want you can use them as it is but if you're like me you can take it one step further and add it to a fishtail banner. So for the fishtail banner all you need is uh, take a strip of paper which is around half an inch it works great for me. If you want to use something else you can use it like if you want uh, something broader than broader than this you can always use it as you want it so let me show you how i do the fish tail so i actually have a die but uh, i find it easier that while crafting I, if i can work only with the scissors so here's what i do i just make a small snip in the center of the strip then this way and this way that's it so same we're going to do on this side i think i should i need to a little bit trim it off and then what i'll do is i'll put a snip there snip there and a snip here okay if you find it's looking kind of like uneven always you can go and fix it up so that's okay for me i'm not a very perfect crafter i know but uh, that's me because i use i do crafting just for my myself like it makes me feel happy so these are the three punches we have used and then this is what we have got so why i have not added anything like foam here because already the pearl is having some dimension to it can you see it so these pearls are having a little bit of dimension around two to three mm maybe so what happens is if i'll still add some foam down there like this it is going to make it more bulky which I don't like. This is like you can use it only on top of anything like on a uh, layout or on top of the envelopes like this. Okay. So this is something which you can't put in your scrapbooks. But right now I am working for scrapbook embellishments. So what I am going to do is I am going to keep it very flat. So let's take this one. First I will just try to figure it out how do I like it. So I think I like it more this way, a little tilted maybe this time. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a very little bit of glue here. And then I'm going to put this right on top of that. Okay, pretty. So I like to work with bed glue because it always provides me a little bit of time to play with the placement of this, which I like a lot. So now here. I think it's looking quite priceless. Okay, so let's add a little bit of glue on this. I have many, many more embellishments on my YouTube. If you want to see a tutorial on any of these, let me know in the comment box below. You can always check the description box for if you want to make purchase or if you want any other information, just drop me a message. I'll be happy to help. So that's that one. Tada! We're done. So that's all for today. Uh, just a second. I wanted to show you how you can use this. You can kind of use them on maybe like doilies. If you are uh, going to place them on envelopes. And um, I had a tag here. So if I'm having a tag over here. And just in case if I'm going to make it like a pocket tag or something like that. Uh, let me give you a little demo here. I'm not good at, good at that, but uh, still I like to Take this chance to explain you what I really mean. Okay, so suppose I have put a pocket over there What I'll do is I'll just put this as a border. Maybe I should take some other color okay. So for example, if this is the pocket for the tag I'll just put it there and your tag is done like you can tuck anything behind this and you are having a nice decorated pocket so it can work the same way in your scrapbooks and for the envelopes maybe you can uh, put a doily 
for the for the envelopes maybe you can put a doily and then you can add this so what i was talking about is if it has a foam little bit uh, in between it gives it more dimensions so like this maybe you can place it and then you can go with the sentiment there and your envelope is all decorated so that's one may, more way to use it it's also so pretty to go on treat bags or any small gifts just like tags so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see some more embellishments which i have made uh, like tutorial on those please uh, don't forget to drop me a comment i'll be sure i'll be happy to make it for you and uh, until next time happy crafting